Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back working on my 1968 Dodge Charger. Um, for those of you who don't know the story behind this car, um, I found this on Craigslist when I was in about sixth or seventh grade. I saw it and I begged my dad to go look at it and I talked him into buying it. We um, went and looked at it late at night. It was pitch black. We couldn't even see really the condition of the car. And of course it was a big rust bucket. But um, since then we have gotten the floors and the trunk replaced. Um, so that was where the most of the rust was. Um, and we went ahead and got the original 318 engine up and running. Um, we replaced the carburetor, uh, water pump, just all the usual stuff. We went ahead and did a four barrel intake and Edelbrock carburetor and it actually ran pretty good but then we ran into the issue of the power steering not working and we got a transmission leak so we unfortunately parked this car for about it's been about three years I think and it's just been sitting in the garage and I think it's time that we do something about it and get it back on the road so um, I got the battery charging. We have a couple small things we got to do um, Get the power steering hooked up and then try to start this thing up um, Since it's been sitting for so long, I'm not really sure what to expect if it will start or not but um, I think we're just gonna hook up the battery and Stick some gas in it and see if it'll fire up but um, Inside is in pretty solid condition um, original seats this thing's really dirty right now because like I said it's been sitting in the garage for a long time it was last on the road in 1990 it's originally from Oregon um, the owner bought two chargers and he said he found this one out in a field and then we picked it up and have been trying to get it back on the road it's got disc brake conversion all the way around. Still need to get those um, bled a little bit better, but that's for down the line. So anyways, enough talking. I think we're going to jump into this, get the new belt on, new pump, and then we will uh, try to fire this thing up. The power steering pump went out on it. We've never had it working, and we bought about three pumps, and they're all the incorrect pumps so we got the old one pulled off it goes right there so we're going to open up this new one and hopefully hopefully it's the right one who knows i think these are the bolts right here this is all coming back to me because it's been shit i don't know three years probably since we've even touched this thing so It just needs to go up just a, a little tad bit right up there. So I can go to the parts store tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day. I've just picked up a new belt that fits good. But now we just gotta get this thing tightened up. And then we can put some fluid on it. It's 100 degrees out today, so if I'm sweating, that is why. It is brutal out here right now. For the first time, I actually bought power steering fluid instead of ATF. I thought, brand new pump, we might as well get the right stuff. I thought it was only a couple years since we try to start this thing but the battery is from 2016 so that's when we originally try to fire this thing up so like I said this thing's been sitting for a long time and I'm not sure if it's gonna start we're gonna dump a little fuel down the carb and crank this thing over and see what happens
here we go guys cold start first time running in about four years got no clue what to expect original key right there well that started up quick <laughs> I think the power steering's working too because the wheel got super light when I was cranking it. Well, the good sign is that we're getting sparked because it shot off with that uh, carb cleaner. And we now have gas in the filter, so that's good. Looks like our automatic choke is working. So this thing's probably gonna be pretty loud when it first starts. trying let's see let's make sure that our power steering pump isn't running dry oh yeah it took up all that fluid so we got to add some more of that quick should be getting should be getting some gas up there about right there power steering pump is working great boom first time running in four years and it's purring like a kid gotta love these old mopars never seem to die It's just purring. Uh, let's shut this thing down quick and double check the power steering, but look how easy this thing moves now. Man, that's nice. I can just do it with one hand. Before, this thing was a pain in the ass to do. So let's check out this power steering quick. See if it took all the fluid or not. Nope, power steering is still filled up, so that's perfect. Let's uh, start this thing back up. Let's 
So to bleed the steering, I think you just gotta crank it all the way one way and then go the other way and it kind of works out all the air bubbles. Not sure what that noise is. But we got good oil pressure up there. Shit, this thing sounds good. We gotta get these cars out of the driveway and get this thing out there and drive it. Uh, it looks like that pulley's loose. That's the problem right there. So let me shut this thing down and tighten up that belt a little bit and then we should be good. Got some steam coming out of the hood. Not sure what that is. Let's see. <coughs> Shit, the battery kind of fell. Oh, fuck. The battery was melting on the exhaust. We better disconnect that quick. Holy shit. That could have been really bad. Fuck. Oh shit, it's dripping. Okay, we gotta get that fucking disconnected quick. Fuck. That is really bad. Totally forgot we don't have a battery strap. And I was fucking thrashing this thing.
that was literally so close to like exploding though actually because it just got a hole in the battery so now we need a new battery that shit melted completely it's leaking acid out of it that could have been really bad but shit this thing runs great man it's good to be back on the road guys I went down and back, lots of power. Kind of liking those red wheels out here in the sun. Those babies are glowing. We uh, had to get rid of those uh, black deep dish. Even though I really liked how they looked, um, they rubbed and so they just weren't practical. My dad got these red ones for cheap. And uh, I guess we're gonna be different and not go with black wheels and go with red wheels. So let me know what you guys think. We can always change them, but. This thing runs good. Now I just gotta go get another battery and maybe we'll go out for a little drive later tonight. Like I said, it's, it's over 100 degrees here today and uh, it's pretty hot. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is just the start of what we're gonna be doing to this car. Uh, I got a 440 and 727 on its way and we're gonna be swapping that thing in in the next couple weeks and be making even more power. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the 68 Charger being back on the road and we'll catch you guys on the next video.